everybody, welcome to my cozy cottage. Jody and Tootsie here, and we're here to do a Timu haul. And we're also going to share a few things from the Dollar Tree that I've tried and I wanted to recommend. Do you want to say hello, Tootsie? Say hello. Aww. There's her little smile. There's her little smile. <laughs> Let's hope she behaves for the video. How's everybody doing? Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing below. Thank you so much for stopping by. And with all that being said, let's begin. Before I begin, I have something that I don't know how your day was, but I did want to ask if anybody is getting outrageous electric bills. My electric bill today was $173. This is not even my prime time. Usually summer mine goes up. Just curious if anybody's electric bills have gone up. I came to the conclusion that I think it's my sump pump or something in the basement that's making it raise, but I live alone, I work all day, and $173 a month for electric? I don't know, leave me a comment. Let me know how yours has been. I'm gonna have to try to improve and turn off more things, I guess, next month. All right, with all that being said, my little rant and rave or my electric bill, let's begin. So let me start with a few things from the Dollar Tree. A few weeks ago, I shared these, and I want to just pop them up again, because I found more. These are two items that I got from the Dollar Tree in the hair section, and they are hydrating conditioner, and it has, it has charcoal in it, and argon oil, and it's sulfate-free free, and paraben-free. And the shampoo is a mango, and it's damage preventing which is really great and um it has a mango mango and charcoal in it and i've tried both of them and i'm real happy with them and for a dollar 25 they just feel like a really good quality so i did want to share these if you see them give them give them a try and also the fact that they're sulfate and paraben pre i think that's great so i did want to share those if you see them there and i also wanted to share that i've tried the detangler which I really like. My hair is really curly, believe it or not. And as I get older, it's just, it's very dry. So I want to do everything to protect it and prevent it. So I did try the detangler there too, and I've been happy with that. That, and there was one other thing I wanted to share. Actually, two more from the Dollar Tree. These were cute. Little glitter razzle-dazzle makeup bags, which I thought were really cute. This one says Dream Big, and they had a bunch of them. And it zips really nice. You know, great for $1.25, I thought, to put your makeup in. And inside, I'm trying to see. Yeah, I think it's definitely wipeable. I mean, cute. It's just simple. But for $1.25, how cute, right? And they also had a lot of socks. I've seen a lot of people hauling socks. I just found the three packs of the gray. And I actually bought the men's for me, little footsies. And three for $1.25, I thought was great. So that's all I had quick from the Dollar Tree. Now let's get on to the Timu part. So, I want to share, let's see, what should we start with first? I guess I'm really into makeup bags right now. So let me see what I paid for these. Oh, I also wanted to show, whoops, that I got a clipboard ready. Oh, I actually bent my paper. Hold on, I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> so I got a picture to put on a clipboard so when I check out my prices, which I joke about my envelope prices, now I have a clipboard to hold up when I look so it does not look cute. And what I did was I glued two clipboards together so I have my clipboard on this side and when I use it for a video, I can put up a different picture or something for you to look at. All right, so let's look. So now I'm back onto my <laughs> makeup bags. These are three cosmetic bags or toiletry bags and it was three for a dollar forty three so let's see the quality so as i take these out i want to say that this is part of a collaboration called new to me and the host is kimmy's kitchen and more and i will be uploading her link and i recommend going out to check out kimmy's channel she is a delight she is so sweet and she is the host of this and the collaboration is called hashtag new to me all right, so let's check these out. So this is the size. Mm, they're like thicker than like, you know, a regular plastic bag, but they're not overly thick. So you definitely have to be gentle with these. But three for $1.43. 
I mean, you know, what can you expect? They have a zipper. And I actually wanted this to put my pills in. I keep my pills in a bag all the time this way. If I'm ready to go anywhere, they're all ready to go. So I think it'd work great for that. So there was lavender, pink, they're all the same, and a light blue. So three for $1.43. I'll definitely give one of these to little Mia. She can put a little makeup in or something. <laughs> Her little girl makeup she likes to play. That Mia's my granddaughter. All right, so that's those. Those are cute. Definitely worth $1.43, don't you think? All right, next up. I was really pleased with this. Let's take it out of the plastic so you can see. It is a napkin holder. And I love coffee. I think it's so cute for the kitchen. And let's see, what did I pay for the napkin holder? Hmm. There it is, $1.67. Now what I was really pleasantly surprised with is that it's metal. I thought for sure it was gonna be plastic. So for $1.67, really cute for your kitchen. So happy with that. And there was another item that I got for the kitchen. Let's take it out. This is a mug holder for your cabinet, which I thought was really neat. And this also is metal, so I was really surprised because Timo gives free shipping. If you're not familiar with Timu, they give free shipping if you spend, it used to be 10, now you have to spend $15. So the fact that this was metal, I figure it must be a little harder to ship. So you clip it on your cabinet, you open it up, and you slip it in your shelf, and then you have all these hooks to hang your mugs on. So I thought this was adorable. Let's see, what did I pay for that mug holder? $2.14. So cute, right? All right, let's see, what do we have next? What do we have next? Hmm, let's open this one. Now, I love to get their canvas prints, and I'm gonna tell you why. I love decorating, I like changing little things, and it's an easy way to change the look and decorate, and it's budget friendly, and it's easy to store, it's flat. So I can store these, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, and I get to change the look you know, of decor of different things. This one is just, I'm a fan of Rocky. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm gonna place this one, but I have been a fan of Rocky since I was 14. And it's a canvas print, and it's an eight by 10. And I liked what it said. It says, it ain't how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. It's about how much you can take and keep moving forward. I remember that line from the movie, so I thought it was cute. I'm gonna frame it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Probably put this away in my bedroom. <laughs> but who, who doesn't love Rocky, really? All right, so that was, did I tell you the price on that one? Rocky, what was Rocky? $1.48, $1.48. All right, I'm gonna move on to some table runners. All of my table runners were $1.98, one was $2.09. And one was, I just remember, because the prices are so great, one was $1.59. Let me show you the one that was $1.59 first, but actually, I got a price adjustment, so that only was at $1.59. What happens with Timu is if something gets marked down or goes lower price, you check your order, you click price adjustment, and they will give you the lower price, and they'll give you a credit. So there was a 43 cent credit. So this literally was like a dollar, a little over a dollar. And this is the one. Now I tried to open these so you don't have to hear too much crinkling. Now all of these are 72 inch table runners. Now let me tell you another reason why I love table runners. You can do your dining room table, different for company, but I also put these on like a TV stand and entertainment, your bureau. And it's an inexpensive way to add some decorating to your home if you like to change it up. So here it is. And it says Easter on the end and it has all the little peeps and this was like a little over a dollar. Now this one, compared to the other one I hauled the other day, this one's nice. It's like a thin linen. linen. It's not like that garden flag material like the one I had the other day, so this is really cute. So this was a little over a dollar. Very cute, I'm happy with that. I also like to set a lot of tables. When my grandchildren come, how fun to change it, especially little Mia. 
She loves me to light candles. She wants my nice fancy candelabras too. <laughs> so why not? So let's take this one. So again, these are just a little, about $2. This one is St. Patrick's Day, also 72 inches. And this one's gonna go to my daughter because she decorates for St. Patrick's Day. I really don't do a lot for that. Great deal. This next one, another cute Easter one. And some of these may go to my daughter too because how fun for her with the kids. So this is so cute. The bunny, bunny butt going in a hole. And what does it say? Happy Easter. How cute is that? Hmm? 72 inches. Also that. It's like a linen. Very cute. Very cute. All right. And this is the one that I'm going to use this year. I haven't set my dining room table for my home tour. And I really like this one. This one has the beige neutral colors. And it says he is risen because that is what Easter is about. And I still gonna, I'm kinda gonna mix a plain bunny in with this. <laughs> now I love bunnies for spring because that's what they remind me of spring. All the beautiful things that God created come out in the spring. Bunnies, birds, chicks, all that. I just love nature and all those beautiful things, flowers. And that reminds me of spring. And here in Rhode Island, it's been a long winter. So I look forward to spring. But this is the one that I'm using for my table. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the cross and the details. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Again, $1.98. So those are my table runners. So if you really are looking for just a little bit of decor, something simple and expensive, I do recommend Timu. All right, next up. I got some capris. Now I ordered, was it, let me check, capris. It was five pairs of capris, yep, five pairs for $20. So that's $4 a pair. Now, are they the greatest quality? No, but are they nice? Yes. They have stretch. They're like a jersey material, elastic waist. There you go, stretch. And I did get I did get a 2X, they're a little big, but that's okay. I'd rather have them a little bit looser than too tight. So, very nice. So I, it came with black, gray, a brownish color, okay. Now they are, they feel nice too. They're not like shiny yoga fabric. They're like a jersey type. They feel really nice. Very comfy. And I got this nice dusty rose color. And the last one is a nice burgundy. So again, these were five for $20. I mean, you can't beat that, right? And um, like I said, they feel like Jersey, very comfy. Not, they're not athletic type. So I thought that was a great deal, five to $20. Let's see what we have next. I like the hair bows. When I work and I always feel like fixing my hair, I thought these were cute. So I got, let's see, how many did I get? One two, three, four, five. They're just little ribbons to put on your, if you do a bun or a ponytail. Let's see. Hair bows. Three, oh, sorry, five for a dollar, dollar thirty-four. So let's see what colors we have. We have the little gray, cute. Came with the beige, just a little satin. Cute, right? And a light gray. Or is that like a taupe? I don't know. It's kind of kind of a funny color. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Grayish to like a taupe. Although here's another darker, darker beige. All like neutrals really that pretty much go with anything. And the elastic feels pretty nice. Basically just tied it on elastic. <laughs> and then black. So I think these are cute. So like I said, five for dollar... Dollar, where are they? Dollar thirty-four. 
Yeah, cute. Checking to see if there's anything else I have to share here while I'm looking. Yeah, no, nope. looks like this is haul is just about done. So that was all that I have to share for today. What I'd like to do is ask you to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. And as I end out this video, I wanted to share some Easter decorating that I did. I did, I wanted to show my last haul, I showed you these bunny canvas prints for spring decorating. I wanted to show you how they look framed. And I wanna show you the area I decorated for spring, the foyer in my hallway. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll end up the video with that. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, Tootsie, good, you came to say goodbye. And um, I'll end out with that, saying thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful night. Do you wanna say hello, Tootsie? Do you think we'll get a little growl from my little Tootsie? I share a lot of shorts with Tootsie. <laughs> Can I give you a kiss? If I give her a kiss, she'll probably growl, let's see. It was a quiet one, though. Do you wanna give me kisses? <laughs> No? All right. So I hope you enjoyed the little decorating on the way out. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful night. And check out Kimmy's Kitchen and More. Bye for now, my friends. <laughs> so here's the hutch in the corner of my living room. And this is where I placed one of the bunnies. So look how adorable it looks framed. Really cute for spring. Here we are in my hallway. And this is my little display for spring. So I have a metal gate on the wall. And down here I have an Easter tree that I got from the Dollar Tree in the Dollar Plus section. That was $5. A sage egg. My little bunnies here and a dough bowl next to little candles. These were the eggs that I hauled from the Dollar Tree egg garland that I took them apart to do by colors. I just think they look so cute. I have a plant here. My grandchildren on this book, that's Brady and Mia. I love that little book, photo book of them. And down below, I haven't placed them on the wall because I need to command strips, but these are gonna go below it. So those are the other two canvas prints framed. That's my little Easter display. Thank you so much for watching my friends. Have a wonderful night. Bye for now.